Hey Roy, I just got an email notification. It says I have a contractor performance assessment report due. It's been a year since the last report we wrote. It feels like yesterday. Stephanie, yeah, the reports are like holidays. Come around once every 365 days. I have a report I will have to finish by next month. That's funny, but sometimes the reports are due more often than annually. This makes me feel like I should do a review of the business sectors and dollar thresholds for the reporting requirements. Do you want to review together? Sure thing. I need to do a review anyway. So let's knock it out now. We should invite our colleagues. Great idea. Let's send out an email invite. They can meet us in the conference room. Welcome to our collaboration session. We are doing a review of the business sectors, dollar thresholds, and reviewing officials for our performance assessment reports that are coming due. Let's put some of this information on the board so we can see the big picture. I think we should begin by talking about the Department of Defense Systems and Non-Systems, then we will move to other situations. I feel like that's a good plan. The business sectors help us determine the thresholds. And systems, including new development and major modifications, is our first sector. That's right. And the threshold for this sector, $5 million. Mark, yes, and the reviewing official is one level above the program manager. Perfect. So what's next? We are moving to the non-systems operation support. It has a threshold of greater than 5 million also. The reviewing official is one level above the assessing official. Most of the time, the assessing official is the contracting officer. Non-system services is our next sector. That threshold is over $1 million. The reviewing official is the same as operation support. Let's keep the pace rolling. Next up. Information technology, with a threshold of $1 million, and the reviewing official is the same as before. Well, I can't let you all get ahead of me. So next up is ship repair and overhaul, threshold 500,000, reviewing official the same again. The last two sectors are architect and engineer, and construction. The thresholds are 35,000, and 750,000, respectively. Again, the reviewing official is one level above the assessing official. That's correct, Roy. But remember we also have to do a report for these types of contracts if the government terminates for default. Good point, Kaylee. Sorry we're late. Bob and I were working on our indefinite delivery contracts. I see your business sector chart. But, I am wondering how do I deal with my IDIQ contracts? Yeah, I have IDIQ contracts and some have delivery orders and others have task orders. How do we handle these? I guess we should talk about these. It seems like we do a lot of orders against our basic contracts in this department. Well, let's dive in then. Starting with the easiest one. If the base IDIQ is evaluated, then none of the task or delivery orders placed against it should be evaluated individually. Indeed. Further, an evaluation must be completed on each task or delivery order using the sectors we just discussed. If the base IDIQ has not had an evaluation completed. That's right. And this is where many people get confused. So, let's provide some advice to contracting officers regarding indefinite delivery contracts, in cases where each task or delivery order is below the reporting threshold, but by combining the orders, the total meets or exceeds the reporting threshold. Crystal, well stated. Also, a consolidated evaluation at the base contract level can be done provided a single ordering or requiring activity exists, and the contract effort description on each order is similar. But on the other hand, in cases where individual orders are significantly different, it is generally not feasible to complete a consolidated evaluation. It would be more appropriate then, to complete an evaluation on each task or delivery order. We can't forget about basic ordering agreements and blanket purchase agreements. These are evaluated on the call order, meeting the reporting threshold. Team. This is all great information. You know, there is even more details in the Contractor Performance Assessment Reporting System Guide at the CPARS website. It was just recently updated in May of 2021. If we have any more questions, we should refer to that in the future. Thank you. Have a great day.